Hello everyone! Welcome! Welcome to another day on our wonderful island of Sunset, our Halloween slash DIY island! Yay! And today, today we're going to be doing a build. We're going to be making a maze over here. We're going to be using fencing and we're going to be using hay beds to make it. So let's see what we can do. Craft. I want to go down. I think it's towards the bottom. There we go. I got a bunch of weeds in order to do this, so let's go. I don't know how many I'm going to need, so I'm just going to make like 10. Then we'll sort of get the feel for the layout, and then if I need more, I can make more. But I want it to be like, I want, I don't want you to get stuck when you're touring this island, but I also want it to feel like a maze. So I figured this was a good compromise. I can use the pieces of hay so that you can lay down onto the hay and get over that spot if you need to, while also still feeling like it's a maze. I also already lost count on how many of these we have made. I'm just gonna make like four more and then we'll get started. But uh, while I'm working on this, Tell me, what do you think about sunset? Do you think, uh, you think we can get this island done? We only have a few more days, and I'm really doubting I can get it to the way I would like it to be by the end of 30 days. So I'm really thinking if y'all are okay with it, I would do at least one stream with this island to really, like, fix it up and work on, you know, the, the blank canvas, if you will. Okay, so we're gonna go down here. This is where I want to put it. And I initially had some spiky fencing up. So we're gonna put like some spiky fencing just around. Maybe we could even put some between the trees. We don't have to like gap it off completely. There can be there can be space. I think I'm gonna chop this tree though. Because I do want it to come out a little bit further. So let's go ahead and chop this tree. I'm more an experiment builder. I see how things work. Maybe we could keep the tree stump and work that into the build. I think this tree will be fine. I don't think it's going to be that big, but we'll see. Okay, so I think right here is where we'll put the first hay bed. So we'll put the first hay bed like right here. And then, no, not like that. Hold on. Put the first hay bed like right here. Still not facing the right way. There we go. Let's push it down. Yeah. Have it come like forward. We have it that far forward. You can definitely get over. You can get around. So yeah, that, that'll be fine. Let's build a fence like right here around this part of the stump and have it come around maybe like right here. Have an inner part that connects and then it has to come over here. Put another hay bed right there. I'm down. Right, good. Tree's fine. Tree's not in the way. Uh, put this one here. And then we're gonna go out to the side a little bit. No, not there. Hold on. I need to put it like right here. Okay, now we're gonna put another hay bed right here sort of blocking this path, but remember, you can, you can lay on it, but it's not going to let you go that way. So to fix that, I would just pull this back one and then would it let you? Yes, then it would let you. Okay. I might keep that like that. 
and then grab the rest of my fencing. I wanted to go at least this far over because I'm thinking about putting an incline right here. So I don't want it to go past that point. So this will kind of be the end. The end of it. Okay, another hay bed. Another one right here. Test it? Nope, it's not letting me get up that way. This one's fine if you can only lay down the, the one way. It still serves its purpose. This could be like the entrance. It doesn't really feel too much of like a maze right now. Let's see, what else could I do? I only have four more pieces of fancy. I could definitely constrict it more. To be more like a maze. Uh, put, put one right, right here. We'll put one right here. Here. Now, if you go over here and get through this way, yes you can. Let's push this back. This will be the entrance to the maze right here. So I might need to make a, a few more spiky fences. But this is looking a lot better than it did. Looking more like a maze is what I want. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this hay bed right here. And we're gonna add it to our maze. I think the way we're gonna add it is we're gonna add it over here. Because we have this blank spot, if you will. It needs to be filled with something. So why not fill it with this? Can I get up that way? No. Put like a hay bed here. You can still get through. Barely, but you can still get through. I could push it up to make it more accessible, but I kind of like it this way instead. But yeah, we'll definitely need more spiky fences. I'm liking the overall look of this. And of course, if you have any suggestions, for feedback on how I can improve this and make it more more maze-like, let me know. Let me know down in the comments. I'm always eager to hear your feedback. But right now we have a Maple Kitty who would like to say hi. Say hi, Maple. Say hi. What? She says hi. Okay, so now we're, we don't have enough money to put in here right now so we're just gonna leave that the way it is and not mess with it now we're actually gonna go ahead and go to the next day and see if our empty plot will autofill and our bridge no not our bridge our incline will be ready how exciting go all right we are back we are back! And it looks like our plot did not autofill. How's your day going, Quackity? Let's talk. I'm glad for weather like this that's perfect for air drying my laundry. Do you have anything I could give her? I mean, I could give her a peach, but mm, not really. Hey, Marlo, how's it going? Nada, where you been? I ain't talked to you in my word. How long has it been? Glad to know we're still neighborly. Stop by again soon, alright? Hey, Sly! What's up, Nala? You're looking pumped. Hurrah. What's the latest? Great day for some cross-training. Indeed, that it is. And speaking of cross-training, we can finally climb up! So now, now that we can finally climb up, we need to make a bridge. I don't know if they're gonna let me make a bridge here. That might be a little bit too close. So I'm thinking we make the bridge towards the campsite and do it that way. Let's take a look at the map. I think that, yeah, I think that'll work out nicely because then I can make like a little path because there's really only room for one. But I do want to move these flowers because if I do end up doing anything over here, I need to have room. So let's go ahead and move them. I'm not going to go very far. I still want to 
keep them in this area. But I think they're gonna go like over here. Put them over here. Then plant this. Okay. So first of all, we need to go over here to our brand new incline. See, can we cross from right here? Okay, it will let me, but I don't think it'll let me put a bridge here. I'm pretty sure it'll say the ramp is too close. So I'm thinking we put the ramp right here, the, the bridge. We put a bridge right here so that we can get across. Of course, it's going to cost more money. Co cost more money. I can talk sometimes. Anyways, we're, we're gonna go... We gotta go earn some money somehow. I might need these hay beds for later. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop them over here. So that I don't forget about them. Knowing me, I'll probably forget about them anyways. I have the memory of a goldfish cracker. Grab this fossil. Although it might be a gyroid. Didn't I plant a gyroid here? Yep, see? I can remember things sometimes. Alright, let's go. Let's go get our bridge and get that set up. Hey, Tom. Ah, Nyla, hello, hello. This is the construction consortium counter. How can I help you, hmm? Let's talk infrastructure. Let's chat. There are a number of things we can discuss, but what did you have in mind about bridges and inclines? Uh, let's build a bridge. Okay, now my favorite one is the suspension bridge for, you know, spooky. And it is also relatively cheap. So the only other one I would consider is maybe the wooden, but I think we're going to go suspension. Yes, please. Excellent. In that case, let's settle on the location next. Use the bridge marker kit I placed within your pockets to set aside some land for our bridge project. Use your kit near a river and you'll be able to imagine how a bridge will look. Okay, we will double check on what I said, but I'm pretty sure that it won't let us do that. Let's see, what's our dailies? Oh, we could definitely make some DIYs. Speaking of which, we should probably look for who's crafting. Probably do that. We know it's not these two, and we know it's not uh, Marlo. But what about what about Plucky? I haven't seen her. She might be crafted. No, nope, no, nope, she's out. She's out here. She's out here chilling. Maybe our new villager. Nope, she's not crafting either. Hey, Nyla, thanks for the chit chat on that random island. Also, thanks for the moving device. I already totally love it here on Sunset. Look how great is it that we're neighbors now. Alright. See you later, Twiggy. Hey, Plucky. How's it going? You need Chicky Poo. Let's chat. You ever stand on the beach, look out at other islands, and wonder what life's like there, Chicky Poo? Yeah. Did you know that you're on uh, Miss Carolee's island of a... Uh, Oh, uh, let Larkshire, Larkshire, why did I just po potato on the name of her island? I've been watching her series for a while now, and she recently got plucky as an autofill. And, uh, let's say she wasn't too excited about it, honey. She wasn't too excited about it, but everybody seems to like you there. 
So I'm, I'm sure that you on another island will become super popular in no time at all. I'll be sure to link uh, Carolee's Lakeshire playlist in the description of the video if you want to go check it out. She is another fellow content creator and she's working hard to get 2024, 2024 subs by the end of 2024. So if you haven't gone and checked her out, go check her out! Okay, go over here. Oh, we have a money tree. Gonna need that. We need bells. I wonder if the other one was also a money tree. I'm not sure. They're right beside each other, so it's hard to really know. Yes, I was trying to find who is crafting. So far, we have not found who it is. Let's go see. Is it her? Oh, she's cooking. She's making spooky cookies. Okay. Well, that was a waste of time. Alright. Get back on track. Now let's confirm my theory that it will not let us do this. Pretty sure it won't. Nope. I Well, what I could do is uh, if I had waterscaping, I could push this in and push it out. But do we really want to bridge straight to an incline? I think it might be nice to have a little bit of a pathway. So I'm thinking right over here, right in front of the campsite. This would be the perfect place to put it. This is the spot. I'm gonna confirm it right here. I'm gonna drop this down. Well, that's that's a hay bed. Where's my my DIY workbench? Ah, okay. I see what I did. Okay, they want us to craft, so let's craft. It doesn't really matter what we make, but I'm gonna try to make new stuff when I can. I don't think we have... We need res red cosmos and white hyacinths. Do I have red cosmos? Or really, I haven't made this yet. Let's go ahead and make that. I've never made a ring toss. Okay, I could definitely feature that somehow. I'll probably put it near uh, Rex's house because he needs some decoration. Who's going to get the Forbidden Altar? Probably Monty. It would be good for the spa area. And then... Speaking of things that would be good for the spa area, I still don't know how to get the mini dioramas. So if you know, please let me know in the comments. Okay, let's go ahead and make another stone tablet. So I'm sure I can use that somewhere. Alright, all done. These are moms. Those are pansies. I might not have... It wants us to catch a very specific kind of fish. Although it does want us to spend miles. We have roses, we have pansies. I don't think we have hyacinths. Really, really don't. I do have a few things for over here in the hot spring build. So let's go over here. Pick some sticks up. See Monty, we should probably talk to him. I don't think we've talked to him yet. Where'd he go? He was over here. Oh, there he is. 
Remember me, Monty, the one you invited to move here from the other island, Katang? Either way, glad we met up again. Yes. Okay. So is there... I don't know if this is going to fit, but I'm going to try. Okay, where's the forbidden altar? There it is. Okay, it will fit. Good. Now I just need to push it back. Push it back. We've got this almost the way I want it to be. Hmm. A little bit more back. If I stand over here. Perfect! Now we can put something on top of there and it will be like the centerpiece of the spot. And we'll go ahead and put a stone tablet like right over here. It doesn't matter that you're not going to be able to see it from the other side because that's not the point. The point is for this to help, um, help highlight this uh, area as a spa. So yeah, you, you can't see it. Well, you sort of can see it if you aim it right. If you're standing here, you can see it, but if you're standing like this, you can't. So it depends on the view. But we'll put some kind of path here as well to help indicate that this is a spa. This is a hot springs kind of kind of area. I'm gonna have to think on what else I could put over here. I could definitely put the uh, little basin that I made over here. That would be a good thing to add. Maybe some towels. Alright, and then we said that Rex was going to get the uh, ring toss for his yard. He's got some flowers. Uh, we'll put the ring toss like right here. We'll probably change the color of it so it to be more colorful, but other than that, I think it's good. Get this, I think it's a fossil. Yes, we're just picking up some things and gonna go grab some customization kits and we're gonna get this island in tip-top shape. Tip-top shape. Alright, let's go get those customization kits. I'll be right back. Alright, we got our customization kits, so let's go over here and customize the ring toss. Customize. Colorful. And you're customizing. We'll go ahead and customize the scatteroid. White, green, brown, light brown. Now let's do the light brown. That might be good to put over in the, uh, the hot spring area. Now we get more miles. Yay, miles. Okay. Wait, hold on. What else do we get? Ah, furniture refresher. Ooh. Oh wait, hold on, we still have more. I thought we were done. Okay, now we're done. I need to find our DIY of the day. Since I haven't really been looking for it, I need to see if I can find it. Oh, what's up, Lucky? Ever hear a story so creepy that you get a cold chill right down your bones, Cheeky Poo? One of my favorite reactions is perfect for that. Watch! So, alright, speaking of bones, did you know we settled on top of an ancient burial ground? 
That's right, there's dinosaur bones all over the place and you know where to look, which means... Dino Ghost! Yay! Right, let's go. Okay, is there a bottle over on this side of the beach? No. Okay. Keep looking. Don't see anything over here. Alright, let's check over here. Oh, no, not yet. We have some fossils that we could drop off in front of Blathers. Because we'll have to donate those eventually. Or at least assess them to see what they are. And this is a new bug. So let me just back myself up a little bit. So I can sit this down here. I will come donate that later. Over this way. Around. Put down. Nope, don't see anything yet. Alright, let's go over here. I remember I wanted to put a bridge over here, but I don't think I'm going to have time for another bridge. So I might just deal with there not being a bridge there. You know, sometimes people are very rude when I'm trying to record a video. There's Gulliver. I don't really need to help him because what he's going to give me isn't going to be helpful for the challenge. Thanks for picking this up. I was walking around yesterday picking up DIY stuff. I came up with a great recipe. I could have kept it for just me, but I like sharing fun stuff. Be careful when you YDI. That's a joke. The DIY Aussie who DIH. Bone door plate. Okay, I can use that. Alright, so I'm gonna stand right here next to Gulliver. Do I have the uh, sit yet? No, I do not have sit. Let's do sleepy. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you're enjoying the content of Sunset, our Halloween DIY island, be sure to leave me a big thumbs up. Let me know what you're enjoying about the island. Let me know if you have any ideas for the maze. And let me know who you think will be our last villager. Will, it, will we finally get someone spooky? Or will our island be cursed with normals? Thank you so much for watching. Remember, stay safe, stay awesome, and always know you're sweet as a pineapple. And lastly, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe! We're working our way towards 500 subscribers and we would love to have you here. And don't forget to hit that bell for notifications. That way you never miss any of my content. Bye everyone! <laughs>